Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, players of all ages, it's your boy Lone Wolf, aka Brady, coming at y'all with another Bleach Brave Souls video. And in this video, we're watching me play uh, the uh, Green Ring. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, I'm just running it right now to get some more crystals to max out uh, my nail. I told you it'd probably be today. I told you I'll probably have one made for today when she's like fully maxed out. But, um, you know, I have work, so I've been busy at work all day, so I ain't had no time to like, fully finish her. So I see I'm doing that now. I see a couple more green people, and it should be done. But uh, other than that, how is y'all day going? I hope y'all had a very good day. Um, excuse me, yeah, excuse me. There's things coming out. It's kind of weird. It's the process of dreads. But anyway, this video in particular, yay, we kill Keith's game. We are talking about the event that we have just been gifted with from K-Lab. I'm about to show you guys in a second soon, guys. 60 crystals, holy crap. It's like the crystal. Have anybody else noticed the crystal job gotten a lot more? You're getting a lot more crystals through these uh, training grounds? Just, or is it just me? Just me? It might not be just me. But we're just going to get past that. All right. This one in particular we are talking about. Where is it? Boom, right there. Brand new. Valentine's Day uh, event that's for five days, but it's the same time as the point event. So if you haven't finished the point event yet, then I would recommend you finish that first before you do this one. Just saying. Um, but anyway, it's called the Valentine's Special Obligation or Genuine Feeling Event. Get a four star character. But I did read up on this before I made this video. So before we get to that, I'm going to read down what it says and what you get from out of it. So. This is a lottery event, just so you guys know. It's not two point events going at the same time. That'd be weird. So each time you clear a quest, you would get one spin of the lottery. There's a chance to get a four star soy find from the lottery, regardless of difficulty of the quest. Bosses may also drop, and this is the key one, a four star Momo or a four star Rukia. And normal enemies may drop three star or below rarity characters. Like the, like the hollows that you fight before you get to the boss will drop three stars, and the bosses may drop a Rukia or a Momo. So in total, we're getting three, three four-star characters in one lottery drop. It's a chance, but at the same time, you get three, regardless. So you get the lottery. When you do the lottery, you can get Soifan. If you beat the bosses, you get Rukia or Momo, which is a total of 105 orbs total from these four-star characters, unless they're like not new, which I doubt they're not. So regardless, this is what you get from out the lottery. You get the four-star Soifan. You get three premium summit tickets, one premium accessory ticket, um, three soul tickets, a two-star power heart, 30 medium XP crystals, five large XP crystals, 30, 15, and 5,000 coins, 100 small crystals of each kind, 30 mediums or large or, or five large, and the same applies for the jewels, medium, large, and uh, small. And like I said, the available characters is the soy fine. This one has strong recharge time, 10% max. So that's not bad, you know. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's not bad to have a friend thing. So then the four, the rare drop characters. You got Momo, which is a nine percent drop. I mean, nine percent dodge rate. And then we have the lovely Rukia with normal attack damage plus sixteen percent. And then of course you got your your regular three stars. You get Momo, Yoruichi, Rangiku, and yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. So. That's all I have for this video. Just this, this to show you guys like the new event that was given to us at two for Global. I don't I don't know if it is for JP as well, but I know Global got it. So tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. How do y'all feel about the event? Oh, and just in case you don't know, it is a five day event. So you have five days to finish this one. You also have five days to finish the uh, the point system. You also got five days to finish the frenzy if you're focusing on that. Um, like I said, I haven't started yet. I'm going to start it as soon as I finish this video. The um, side, I mean, not side quest, the, which I'm, the lottery event quest. I'm going to do that as soon as I finish the video. God, my hair is just a mess today. But anyway, let's look at the order. Okay, let me look at the orders first. I'm pretty sure, like, every lottery event is up to 30, but I'm going to check anyway. All right, so if you fit, oh, five, I got checked out anyway. So if you clear all of the event quests, you get three premiums. If you finish, it's 12 chapters. Woo! 12 chapters is 12 okay now that I know that if it's 12 chapters and three difficulties normal hard and very hard 
that's about 15 30 45 60 75 90 105 120 uh where am i at again or maybe it, not, it may not be it might not be the way i'm maybe i'm just reading too way too much to it i'll figure it out when i go back but if it is three difficulties to each to each level that's a lot of orbs but if it's just like normal normal hard 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 very hard very hard then you're looking at about 60 orbs so 12 chapters 60 orbs how could you not like that because i might have went way too deep into that whole normal hard hard for difficulty they have yet to give us ma do you don't like how my hair is like really sticking out like right here i'm sorry i keep i keep throwing myself off but my hair like come out like at random times but anyway but um anyway so you do very hard five times you get large crystal experience crystals you do very hard 10 times you get 10 premium summons 20 times you get your brave souls ticket and of course with 30 you get a hokey yoku and if you finish all of them of course like any other event you get five orbs so with all that being said, in a mouthful of words, that is what's going for on for us right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed guys enjoyed the um, information, uh, and I hope you get on it. Do this do this about thirty times, even if you maybe want to do it just to get the four star characters because that's one hundred and five orbs you don't want to pass up. Get down, get down the dirty with it. Do what you got to do. Knock these boys out. Uh, get your thirty finished so you can get all your um, orders finished. Get your soy fun. Get your momos. That's all right. Get your normals, get your soy fans, get your rukias, and then go back to the lot. I mean, go back to the point of it. I mean, I would do that. You get a four star from there regardless, because you get it. You get the rank Giku, so, but you get more out of it. So that's what I. That would be my suggestion. Don't don't be like me, or maybe you should be like me, regardless. So, anyway, that wraps up this video. I said that last time, but I just really wrapped up this video this time. So. Captains, Lieutenants, Arakars, Espadas, Advisors, Quincy's, Forebringers, Hollows, Zanpak Tolls, Bounce. I think I missed something. Vastalordes, whatever. Whatever you are in the Bleach universe, I hope you ascend to greatness like a boy. And knock out these orders, because I'm probably going to knock out these orders tonight. Because it's probably not going to take me too long to do it. So, Until your next video, this is your boy, Lone Wolf, signing off. You guys take care. I'll see y'all again real soon. Bye-bye. See y'all later.